This is Dennis McMahon, and welcome to Positively Vermont. And today we are going to be exploring the Vermont Maple Festival, taking place for, th for three days on April 26th, 27th, and 28th in St. Albans, Vermont. And we're happy to have with us today uh, Kathy Brannan, uh, who was uh, a trustee, who was a board member of the Vermont Maple Festival, and someone from the industry itself who's going to tell us everything we need <laughs> to know about one of the premier uh, agricultural and tourism uh, and uh, wonderful uh, events uh, in Vermont coming up in a few weeks. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you for having me, Dennis. Tell us a little bit about yourself and, and your company, and then we'll get into the uh, festival uh, history and uh, what's going to be offered. Um, I'm Kathy Brannon, and I am a board member for the Vermont Maple Festival. I think I've been a board member for upwards of 12 years now. I haven't exactly counted. Um, my husband and I are maple sugar makers. Um, we own Brannon's Berry Wild Maples in Fairfield, Vermont. And we um, sell a lot at um, farmers markets and trade shows and things like that. And uh, we've just always been involved with Maple. So joining the board all those years ago made sense. Uh, it's great working with other sugar makers and people who love Maple. So it's something that I plan on doing for quite some time to come as well. Excellent. Well, this is the 57th uh, Vermont Maple Festival. Yes, Festi it's the 57th Vermont Maple Festival this year. It's kind of hard to believe, but it really is. <laughs> wow. And maybe you could just, because uh, positively Vermont goes many parts of the state, maybe even in Europe, it's picked up. Tell us a little bit about uh, the maple industry, its importance uh, to the state of Vermont, uh, and its role in the entire agricultural picture here. Just, Maybe give us a little background on, on the, the industry. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that when people think of Vermont, they think of maple. Um, it's just something that our state has always um, been so proud of. We, we of course, are the maple capital of the United States. And then we're lucky enough to be the largest producing county uh, in Vermont, in Franklin County, but then in addition to that, where I live in Fairfield, Vermont, is the largest town, um, the or the, the most producing maple syrup um, town in uh, Vermont. So, you know, we have a lot of history in Vermont of maple, uh, starting way back with the Abnakis and uh, doing um, maple uh, in a, the, with the Native Americans. So, of course, over time, things have evolved um, from the Native American way of making maple to, you know, the horses and um, sap buckets and things like that. And then, of course, now we've evolved into pipeline and um, uh, reverse osmosis and you know, we're not boiling with as much wood anymore in Vermont. We are, we've um, uh, improved our ways toward, uh, you know, steam and oil. And uh, I think there's even, as we speak, there's probably even more ingenuity going into it. Um, it's hard to keep up sometimes. We kind of get going in our own way, but I feel that people um, love new ideas that help to make maple sugaring more efficient uh, for the sugar makers. Um, and I think Vermont is way out front in leading the industry in ideas and innovation for making maple syrup um, to the best of our efficiencies in Vermont. And before we get into the, uh, the details regarding the festival, maybe you could just give us a little uh, background of, of what maple pro how what what tree produces it and how it oh boy There's yeah very basic you know when well i mean you know maple sugar um comes from the uh, maple sugar tree ideally that is the best um sap of course there's red maples and soft maples silver maples there's you know different maple trees that do get tapped 
Um, but your best sugar bushes that are going to yield the most sugar content are from your 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 original sugar maker, sh sugar maple type trees. So from there, of course, the sap has to be collected. Um, and then the sap goes to a sugar house and um, is boiled uh, there to make the maple syrup. Uh, it's filtered. And then from there, it's bottled or it's put into containers to be sold in bulk, depending on how your um, operation works. And then from there, that syrup goes to buyers. Um, people buy them in, uh, in bulk and it gets repackaged in some places, but in other places like, like ours, some of it goes gets sold bulk, but then other of the syrup we keep because we use it. Mm -hmm. So um, a lot of maple producers have figured that, yes, it's great to have the maple syrup, but there's a lot you can do with maple syrup. So a lot of producers, um, families, I mean, quite honestly, a lot of it is family um, run, uh, but a lot of families work together to make other products from maple, such as your maple cream, maple sugar, maple candy. Um, of course, you have maple creamies where you infuse the, the dairy with the maple, um, there, of course, there's other things with maple syrup that you can do, like make um, seasonings and dressings, um, sauces and things like that. So a lot of maple sugar makers are taking their maple syrup that they make and they're making value added products mm -hmm. to um, to increase their their usage of maple. That, that's great. I, I just want to add that the, the festival this year has a a subtitle totally eclipsed by uh, Vermont Maple. Tell yeah. us that, that well, origin. Well, you know, this eclipse that we had on April 8th was something that we will never forget. And um, we knew as a board that we, we always have to come up with catchy themes for the festival. And it's one of the things we all put our heads together. We all throw ideas out and, and then we kind of, roll it around on our tongue a little bit and whatever comes out to be sort of the the best sounding and the catchiest theme that we all like that's what we vote on and, and go with so we knew the eclipse was happening so we decided to incorporate the idea of being eclipsed in maple um this is one of our shirts that we that we made this year that can be bought online um to, just to really have fun with that and continue that um, eclipse phenomena that we all got to enjoy. Um, and it seems like it'll work out great for the window displays and for t-shirts. And I think it'll be a fun um, theme for everyone to enjoy this year with the floats and the parade and whatnot. Well, we're gonna go through that. I just wanna make sure that we get the website out there, www.vtmaplefestival.org. That's, that's simple mm -hmm. enough. Yes, and we really encourage people to to go to that website because everything is there. Well, and we, were, we were discussing before the uh, recording commenced about notes, and you were talking about yeah. your notes and my notes just from the website. I, yeah, me uh, too. I, I went through a yeah. huge amount of notes. So we're going to try to get that all in uh, in the brief time we have. Uh, so it's a very it's a very good website. There's all kinds of information there, not only about the events but about the maple uh, processes and products and, and things that we we've, we've been discussing. Um, now let, let's be, begin. There's a, there's a, uh, it's going to be uh, starting on April 26th. Uh, tell us, carry us through to the the major yeah, event. Yeah. So on April 26th, beginning at noon, we are going to have our opening ceremony down at the main stage. Uh, the opening ceremony includes our um, co-chairs, uh, Stefan Tetro and Cecile Brannon, um, welcoming everyone to the Maple Festival. And they do a maple milk toast uh, to the opening of our festival, their 57th uh, annual festival. And then we share out maple milk to the crowd. So everyone gets to enjoy um, another way to, to enjoy maple. Um, and from there, um, 
after the opening ceremony, there will be um, the beginning of the kids scavenger hunt. So any kids that are there, they'll be able to go to a certain area in the park and look for coins. And these coins are um, for them, they can collect one and if, when they find it and get a free maple creamy mm. at the festival anytime during the weekend. That's great. And, and after the kickoff, uh, uh, maybe you can give us an idea. Uh, it's in St. Albans and the scale of what what's- Oh, what's yeah. So one thing that our board is going to try really hard for this year is to have a map. Um, you know, I think that we take for granted as locals where everything is, and we know that so many people come from out of town. Um, so we're going to try really hard to produce a, a map that gives us uh, directions as to where everything is uh, throughout St. Albans. So um, some of the areas that people will want to visit um, are the the um, St. Albans Town Educational Center is where we will have our antique show. Um, and this year we will be having um, lunch provided for people to purchase. So if you're there and you are um, shopping around and, and it's like in the lunch hour, we'll have some food this year. So that'll be really nice for visitors um, and the vendors as well. So that's at um, the St. Albans Town Educational Center. And then from there, there's BFA. Um, BFA is a big part of uh, our various activities because at BFA, we have the PAC Center. Um, so we have our, chil our children's center there, our um, kids center with the um, various shows that are put on there for kids. Uh, did you want me to go into the details of the of the different right. things that are there? The carriers for through, through the first couple of days, if we can, right? Okay, so yeah, so we'll have the um, we'll have the uh, marionette show there, and we are going to have the Bryson um, Lang Family Entertainment uh, that will be at the Pack Show uh, starting on Saturday, um, and that is for um, you know young and old. It's it's a they're great little entertainment uh, things for the for the um, olders and the youngers grandparents would enjoy with their kids. Um, we did have one correction we wanted to make sure to, to give everyone um, that the Bryson Lang Family Entertainment and the No Strings Marionette will be alternating their times. Our our brochure was a little off on the times. Mm -hmm. So um, one will start at 1130, then the other one will be at 1230, and then 230, and then 330. So they alternate. Um, just so that folks are clear that um, when they arrive to what show that they're going to be attending. So um, the other thing at the um, BFA uh, gym is our amazing uh, specialty foods and craft show. So that is something that is always a sellout. Um, lots of things to look at there. And um, that is also going to be on um, Saturday and Sunday. Um, from there, we have our exhibit hall, which is at the St. Mary's Parish Hall across from the St. Mary's Church. The exhibit hall is uh, a great place to visit to get, um, uh, to be able to see the products that are on display for the product contest for the maple products. Also, that's where merchandise can be purchased. We also have our maple store there where you can buy all kinds of great maple products including maple syrup, but also products that are provided by local um, uh, maple producers and, and folks that work with maple. Um, we also will have our famous um, maple donuts there and creamies. So, uh, and then there will be a few displays as well. Oh, and also new this year is um, the Vermont Maple Sugar Makers Association is sponsoring um, hydrometer testing for free. So there will be free hydrometer testing this year that can be done right there at the exhibit hall. What so that's uh, hydrometer? Oh, so the hydrometer is used to measure the density of syrup. So Vermont has strict um, requirements for what the density needs to be for maple syrup. And um, to do that testing when folks are boiling, it's a, it's a 
it's a test, it's called a hydrometer and it's tested in the syrup, but it has to be calibrated just right to give the proper measurement. Mm -hmm. So um, testing needs to be done frequently, um, at least yearly to be able to make sure that your um, syrup is top quality for what Vermont requires. Very interesting. Now tell us about the parade. There's going to be a big parade involved. Well, yeah. So on Sunday, we have our, our awesome parade. It's loaded with tons of uh, um, floats that have the, the totally eclipsed by Vermont maple um, theme. And uh, in the parade, of course, we have our bands. We have local bands. Um, we have bands from outside of the area as well. Of course, you've got your trucks uh and dance dance groups that go through and it's just it's just tons of fun for young and old it's it's a time tested wonderful parade that we have in our area that's great and there are some other signature events here like the maple banquet uh tell us yeah. what that's about. so saturday night at six o'clock we'll have the maple banquet which is over at in the bliss room at the museum so the saint Albans historical museum and the Maple Banquet is when the awards are given out for the maple products, um, for the um, window displays. Well, actually the window display, I don't know if it'll be done at that time. Oh yes, I think it is. Window display. Oh, the and the most important thing is our new um, ambassadors are announced that evening. And so that happens on Saturday night as well at the banquet. Tell us what that's about, the ambassadors. So the Maple Ambassadors are two um, two folks that represent the state of Vermont, um, and they are they travel to various things like Eastern States, um, Franklin County Field Days, um, and other. I'm sure I'm missing some like Addison County Field Days and and things like that to represent um, Vermont Maple. So they help in the Maple Shacks. Oh, of course the. Essex Fair is a big one. So there's a, you know, a huge presence there at the Essex Fairground. And um, they go and they help in the in the maple sugar houses that are there at those um, events uh, to help with selling or, or packaging or whatever they are asked to do. And um, they're kind of like the face of Vermont maple that travels around to the different events. And of course, the, the, there's a scholarship, so they apply, they have to be interviewed, they have to know about maple, don't have to be maple sugar producers, you can, you can just be a part of it, you need to be knowledgeable about Vermont maple, and then um, uh, they have to go to an interview, and then there, there's a committee that um, scores them, and then the, the, the winners are announced on Saturday night at, at the banquet. Great. Now, there are a number of contests uh, and tasting type events and uh, yeah. things that people can learn about. Tell us about uh, uh, those things, uh, the, the cookies contest, the baking contest. Yeah. So that's another thing announced at the at the banquet is the winner of the of the cooking contest. So, yeah, we have that's another thing that's at the exhibit hall. Um, it's the maple maple cooking contest so there's lots of different categories i i won't be able to name them all but categories of different cooking that can go on and um people submit their entries and then there's some a uh, group of people that judge the entries um so and then there's um sappy art contest which is uh folks can um submit like different art things that relate to maple um, we have the window display contest throughout St. Albans. Uh, many, many um, storefronts participate in, in showing the theme of the year. Um, and then we judge those. Um, we also have our product con contest, which is all the different maple things that you can submit. So you can submit maple samples, um, sugar samples, cream, candy, and fudge are all judged um, in the maple products. Uh, those awards are given out at the banquet. Um, I want to make sure I'm not forgetting anything in the moment here. Um, the photo contest that can be, that can, um, you can submit um, any a, maple, a photo that relates to maple. 
Um, those are displayed down on Main Street. Um, and um, let's see, I'm trying to see if there's any, oh, and the one, uh, there's also um, a food contest for restaurants around Ma uh, Franklin County. So if a restaurant has a maple item during the month of April and you go to the restaurant, you can ask for, or perhaps the restaurant will just give you a ballot where you can vote um, on that maple product. And then that those um, ballots will be collected and tallied and the winner of the um, the uh, maple menu um, contest will be in May. So they'll announce the winners of that. They'll get a plaque and a gallon of syrup um, for their for their win. So this will be the third year of doing that. And every year we get more and more restaurants involved. So it makes it really fun for visitors who come into town. They're able to visit restaurants and then and try some new maple dishes. So it's kind of a fun thing to do. Wow. Um, I think that's it on the... Oh, and then of course, with, with the um, photo contest and the sappy art contest, you can go online and vote. So there, it's called the People's Choice Award. So if you go online to our website, you can vote in there will be the um, all of the, the pictures of the artwork and the photos, and you can choose your favorite. So we call it the People's Choice Award, and, and those folks can win awards from what, um, what people vote on from beyond the Mabel Festival. That's great. But yeah. Tell us, tell us about the SAP run. What is that SAP run? Oh, I didn't really study up on the SAP run, but it's it. I I forget what year. I mean, they've been doing this for many, many, many years. Um, and I honestly, I don't know a whole lot of information about it. It's not something that I've been involved with the organization, but I know many, many people do that. And the SAP run um is on Sunday. Um, so it's the 44th annual SAP run. Um, and it's, I don't exactly know where it starts, but it's an 8.5 mile run that folks can do. Wow. I'm sure on the website, there's information about where people can sign up for that. Yeah. There's so much, so much on the website and so much that's going on. It's very exciting. <laughs> Uh, I know. And, you know, I can't just, even as board members, we can't keep up with all the different yeah. things that happen. But <laughs> um, yeah, there's just so I think we've covered all the the big items. But I just want to ask you also about this Sugar House tour. Tell us about yeah, that. Yeah. So every year we try to get um, two local sugar houses uh, where folks are willing to open open up their sugar house to the public, and we have buses that will take interested people. Um, to the sugar houses to get a tour. And oftentimes at the sugar houses, there's um, samples or maple treats and things like that that people can try. But the sugar makers graciously open up their, their space and share a piece of, of what they're doing um, and, and proudly talk about their own operations um, and give a lot of information to the guests um, to learn about sugar making firsthand. And uh, tell us about this Maple Festival cookbook. That, that's being oh, made. wow. Yeah, the cookbook is amazing. So the cookbook can be ordered online year round. Um, it's a compilation of many of the winning recipes from the um, food contest um, Afi has done for many, many, many years. And um, the cookbook was written um, in part by Kay and others, but um, put together is a, the compilation of all the blue ribbon award-winning recipes that are tried and true. And you just can't go wrong with any of the recipes in that cookbook. So I would highly recommend that any of the cookers out there, if they want a nice addition to their recipe collection, they should have that cookbook. That's great. And you also have festival gear uh, that's available. Uh, yeah, so every year... Yeah, every year we um, design new designs for the Maple Festival. Um, and so at, in the exhibit hall, there's the merchandise corner and you can purchase hats and 
t-shirts and sweatshirts and um, young, you know, kid clothing, adult clothing um, to, to have some, some Maple Festival swag that you can have throughout the year. So yeah, that's always fun. And we try to keep that nice and fresh and new each year. That's great. Tell us about the team festival. The, the, uh, yeah, the so board. new. This is a new event this year. We, you know, we're always looking to try to do things that we could see that our community would enjoy. Um, and we're always trying to improve things for the festival. Um, so one of the things that we brainstormed this year was doing a little teen center. So we are utilizing um, the town hall. So that's another building that we have. So that we're using. So Town Hall is where they will be hosting um, the teen center. And um, a lot of the, the uh, things are coming from Bounce Around Vermont. And they provide like um, inflatable, like obstacle courses, basketball, like, um, oh, the ax throwing that everybody's into these days. Um, so there'll be um, also, I believe, Routine Nutrition, which is a local, uh, um, uh, beverage store uh, that folks really enjoy will be there um, selling their um, their nutrition drinks, and it's um, it's just going to be a great place for teens to get together to you know to have some fun. It's a safe place for them to be, and um, we're just looking forward to seeing how how the community enjoys that this year. That's great. Well, I have to tell you that. Uh... This is one of the few times that I, not only have I not completed my notes, uh, but we we have are unfortunately running out of time. Okay. Uh, and there is so much on that website, uh, and I'm sure you like everybody to take a look at it. Uh, the event is going to be running from April 26, 27, and 28 in St. Albans, Vermont. Uh, and uh, I just like uh, uh, as we conclude, uh, maybe you can give everyone a little parting message uh, about the Vermont Maple Festival. Well, I I really hope that folks come out for it. I have put in an order for the same kind of weather that we had for the eclipse, so I have my order in for that. I'm sure I'll get it. Um, but just to come out and enjoy all the amazing things that we have. Um, I didn't even mention the things going on in the park. Uh, I've said, had said so many other things, but our park with our concessions and all of the extra things there will be super fun. We have the dog show. We have UVM um, timber folks coming to do the um, timber contest. So I just would encourage you to come out all three days if you can, but if not, pick a day where the where there's the most things that you'll enjoy um, and, and just be sure to... Um, enjoy all things maple that weekend is it, and, and live it to the fullest. That's great. Well, thank you, Catherine, uh, for appearing on Positively Vermont. Uh, this is Dennis McMahon. Uh, my guest today has been Catherine Bannon, uh, speaking about the Vermont Maple Festival coming up April 26th, 27th, and 28th. Uh, you can get more information on their website. And uh, thank you for appearing with us and thank you all for watching Positively Vermont.